and a very warm welcome to 2022 Mission Sustainability Awards programme. We hope all the teachers and pupils watching have had a fantastic term and are looking forward to a nice long summer break. In this programme, we'll be celebrating the creativity, talent and teamwork of school pupils across the West Midlands who entered our Mission Sustainability Challenge. Ensign's purpose as a company is to make energy and water more sustainable for all. And we believe that inspiring the next generation is essential to this. Mission Sustainability is about showing young people in primary and secondary schools how they can use their passion and imagination to make our planet a cleaner, healthier place. This is the third year we've run the programme. The theme this time was building the smart cities of the future. We've had some fantastic entries from creative models about e-bikes to investigations into smart street lighting and designs for eco-friendly buildings. Today, we'll be celebrating the work of our finalists whose work impressed our judging panel made up of leaders and industry experts from NZEN. There are three categories in total. Each of them has a first, second and third place, with two of them also having highly commended awards. Then, at the end, we'll announce the best of the best. Well done to all the pupils named as finalists. Your teachers have your certificates ready and they'll be presented to you at the end of the ceremony. But before we find out who's won, let's hear from the teachers involved to see what's been happening. We visited Langley School in Solihull, Borsal Common Primary School near Coventry and Colmer School in Birmingham to find out how they tackled mission sustainability in their classrooms. We wanted to participate in mission sustainability to give our students the opportunity to think outside the box to come up with solutions to real worldwide problems. During the programme, um, I decided to take three days out of the curriculum um, for this. We spent the first lesson planning, um, so we had a full planning lesson, drafting their ideas. Um, and then the last two lessons was just them, just putting their ideas together, um, which was really nice to see. It's a fantastic opportunity for the children to be part of a purposeful activity. Our students responded to mission sustainability in many creative ways. Some of them drew posters of their ideas, some uh, come up with a very well um, written articles which highlighted their thoughts of current and future issues. We have had absolute brilliant discussions and their ideas and their creativity is just outstanding. Um, so they want to have an immediate change. Uh, they wish we could have e-bikes uh, even here in Borsal Common. The project has helped pupils' understanding of sustainability because while it's a word that they know from their everyday lives, from being on to talk about on the news for instance, they were able to apply the principles of sustainability to real world situations. So the thing that stood out for me most about the work was probably how independent they were and how much they took their initiative. So for the two days I was just wandering around the classroom offering help um, but no one seemed to need it because they were so independent and so focused. What stood out most from the discussion that that, um, I've had um, with the children, it has been their eagerness and also the knowledge um, of wanting to make a change. I think for me the most memorable part was being able to speak to students on that level about such an important issue which we don't really get time to do during lessons as such. So it was nice to see their concerns about it and how they want to help and what they think they could do to potentially push their ideas. When pupils leave school, there is a wider world out there um, and there's a world beyond school and I think it expands their horizons and working with businesses such as yourselves allows them to see the application of what they're learning and where that can be used in their future. Thank you to all of our teachers and schools and pupils that took part in this year's Mission Sustainability Challenge. The theme this year was around building the smart cities of the future and joining us now to tell us why this is so important to building a more sustainable world is Sanjay Niyogi, Chief Executive Officer of NZEN UK and Europe. Sanjay, welcome. This is the third year NZEN has run Mission Sustainability. 
Why is this program so important to our company? So uh, sustainability is at the heart of everything that we do. As a, as a planet, we face a lot of challenge with respect to climate change. Enzen works with power, water, and energy clients. And that gives us a huge knowledge about how we drive efficiencies and how we drive sustainability through these programs. We see as it as our responsibility to give back to the society of what we learn through our clients, involving and listening to young people and un, uh, because uh, is, is important, in making them aware of sustainability is important to us, listening to their uh, thoughts because they, they are the doers and, and the people who is going to make the world uh, in the next generations. Can you explain to us what is a smart city and why smart cities are so important to a sustainable future? So uh, cities are becoming much more complex and they are more and more people are moving into the cities. So smart city is a combination of uh, technology and which is uh, integrated with the public infrastructure. The objective of the smart city is to reduce losses it is to make things smarter, much more efficient, so that uh, things become much more sustainable. We reduce uh, pollutions and emissions and the carbon footprints in the cities. And it is also about changing the lifestyles of people. Each challenge was themed around a different smart city solution. Can you tell us more about them? So we had uh, three themes uh, for this year. Uh, the first one was around uh, mobility, so we had uh, e-mobility and e-bike as th uh, the first thing. This was targeted more towards the young generations uh, to see that how an alternate means of transport can help impact uh, or help reduce the carbon footprint. The second thing, uh, uh, the second theme that we had was more around smart lighting. Smart lighting helps bring in a lot of efficiencies in which electricity is used and that in turn again uh, not only reduces or manages electricity in a better way and efficient way, it reduces the carbon footprint as well. The third theme that we had uh, was uh, more around uh, sustainable buildings and eco-friendly buildings. And finally Sanjay, do you have a message for all of those pupils that took part? So I would like to congratulate all of the uh, young people who had participated in this and put in a lot of creative thoughts and uh, to this. I would also like to thank uh, the teachers for their support that they have given us in making this happen. The amount of creativity that we have seen coming out from the young generation is uh, has been brilliant. I would say they, they, they are the thinkers and the doers of tomorrow and it is very important for us to uh, understand the way that they think and uh, and also to train them and also to get the message across to them uh, in terms of how to make this world much more sustainable. Thank you, Sanjay. Now it's time for the real stars of the show. Those pupils chosen as finalists for this year's Mission Sustainability. There were three categories in total, creativity, essay writing and design. Let's start with creativity which we developed in partnership with Enzen Group Company and shared mobility specialists, RideOn. This challenge was to produce a piece of creative work on the benefits of e-bikes. Here are those talented pupils who wowed our judges. It was important to have a visual of an e-bike right in the centre to draw your attention to it. We used bright colours so it is eye-catching. 
To persuade people to use e-bikes, we use key facts, such as reducing your carbon footprint, carbon at 20 miles an hour, and it uses less energy than a car. We enjoyed creating this poster and learning about the benefits of an e-bike. We have had great discussions on how to reduce pollution. We suggested that you get the first 15 minutes free, then you have to charge. Maybe this will make it more popular. It's great to be in the phone whereas it might not happen again. A simple design can still be good. It would be great if there were more e-bikes on the seaside. I want to turn my own bike into an e-bike. I enjoyed influenced people not to drive cars and take bikes instead. Fantastic stuff and congratulations to all those finalists. Receiving the highly commended award is a fantastic model about the benefits of using e-bikes. Our judge said it was well constructed, very creative and had a fantastic catchy slogan. Congratulations to all of the pupils at Damson Wood Infant School. Receiving our next highly commended award is a creative idea which surprised our judges who said how better to spread a message than to wear it. For her excellent t-shirt design, well done to Sophie Ridges from Castlewood School. In third place is a poster which our judge said was clear, concise and had simple messaging that really brought home the key benefits of electric bikes. Well done to Ava Dijali and Gina Dijali from St Bridget's Primary School. In second place is another brilliant t-shirt design from Castlewood School. Congratulations to Amy Cleaver. Which means first place went to a real team effort. Our judge said it was on point. The colours were eye-catching and the handlebars a really creative addition that caught the eye and symbolised the bike. The model was fun and contained all of the key benefits. Well done to Isabel, Alfie, Poppy, Leo, Thomas, Harriet and Max from Borsal Common Primary School. We now move on to the essay category. The challenge was to write an investigative essay on smart street lighting in the pupils' local area. So let's meet the finalists. After doing my research, I now switch off the lights more when I'm not in the room, I turn off the TV when I'm not watching it, and I help to persuade my parents to get detective lights in the garden. The use of smart or intelligent street lighting can have many technological advances. For example, air and noise pollution sensors can be used to monitor and warn if dangerous levels of carbon dioxide are being released into the atmosphere. In addition, cameras can be added to monitor and warn if any traffic problems are happening at the time. And in the future, I've learned that this system could even be used to manage and assist the use of autonomous vehicles in a new digital highway network. work and thank you to all those pupils who entered. Our highly commended award goes to a report our judge called very impressive, well researched and structured and the only response to cover both lamp life and the benefits of LED over mercury vapour discharge lamps. Well done to Rosie Workman from King Edward's the Sixth Northfield School for Girls. Our third place award goes to a report which had excellent advice, 
written in a really nice style that's easy to read. It covered some of the key benefits of smart streetlights in a really impassioned way. Congratulations to Amelia Hussain from Langley School. Second place goes to an essay which had great and accurate technical information. The response was well structured and well written. Inclusion of benefits to wildlife was a really insightful additional benefit. A round of applause goes to Safa Al Kayon from King Edward VI Northfield School for Girls. Which means our first place was awarded to a pupil who wrote a very professional response that showed an excellent use of referencing. A fantastic effort. Huge congratulations to Aoife McNamara from Langley School. And now we move on to our third and final category of design. The challenge was to imagine an eco-friendly building and show how it could help make a town or city more sustainable. Let's see what pupils came up with. For the project, we made an apartment complex that runs off fully renewable, safe energy resources. One thing that I've realised is that we really need to make a change and stop using all these fossil fuels, use buildings that are reliable like our apartment complex. I don't think me or anyone else in my class has really done anything like this before, so it's like nice to have the opportunity to come up with something completely original, really educational, because not many people know the impact that they have on the world, literally just by, from my example, just going on the tube. So to have all these ideas, maybe in the future, like all the people who did this, not just in my class but across the country, could like put these ideas into place. We created an eco-friendly theatre which uses locally sourced food. In our eco-friendly theatre we have an electric car park which allows customers to park their electric cars for free and any person that brings an electric car park gets a 10% discount off all their items purchased. Well done for all of your imaginative designs. In third place is a vision for an apartment complex. What our judge said it showed a great choice of building type. The design has nice ideas, backed up by good research. A round of applause to Billy O'Neill and Muhammad Ali from Colmer School. In second place is a design for an eco-friendly theatre. Our judge said had a nice understanding of heat pumps and EV charging. Well done to Ruby Oxland and Mia Mills from Colmer School which means in first place was a design that demonstrated good use of diagrams, a nice solar PV tracking system and a good understanding of energy efficiency measures. For her fantastic design of an eco-friendly tube station, please take a bow Lily McDermott from Colmer School. Now it's time for the final part of the awards announcing the best of the best. We took the winners of each of the three categories and ranked them for their passion and enthusiasm for the topic of sustainability. In third place was Isabel, Alfie, Poppy, Leo, Thomas, Harriet and Max from Borsal Commel Primary School. In second place came Lily McDermott from Colmwood School which means our overall winner of this year's Mission Sustainability Programme is a young lady from Langley School for her report into smart street lighting, which showed an impressive acknowledgement of local strategies and a good inclusion of both quantitative and qualitative benefits. Punchy, concise and a fantastic piece of work. Huge congratulations to Aoife McNamara from Langley School.
well done to all our finalists and winners and well done to all of their teachers for their support as well as every single pupil and every single school who entered this year's Mission Sustainability Challenge. NZEN firmly believes that only by working together, sharing our ideas and combining our creativity will we be able to create a happy and healthy future for our planet. Today's awards show that we have some fantastic young talent in the West Midlands. We hope Mission Sustainability has inspired you all to think about how you can use your skills and enthusiasm to build the smart cities of the future. And if you're a teacher watching who hasn't taken part in this year's mission and would like to find out more, you can contact the Mission Sustainability team at the email address at the bottom of the screen. Thank you again. Congratulations and enjoy a well-deserved summer break. I would highly recommend uh, other schools to join Ensign on their mission sustainability. I personally benefited tremendously from this experience and I would love for young people to participate uh, at any age and hopefully their teachers will be willing to take on the challenge and help them along the way. I really look forward to a future where engineering and technology will combine to create new and effective ways to make our city smarter.